Namaste everyone and welcome to the session this morning. And we will be doing the, the affectionate breathing practice by Christian Nerf that I've learned from Christian Nerf. Um, it's a compassion practice. So we'll, we'll start by gently closing our eyes or keeping them downcast. Noticing how you feel comfortable in the moment, right? Notice what's okay for you. Sensing your sit bones, you could either be on a meditation cushion or a chair. And if you're in a chair, make sure your feet are touching the floor. If not, just placing a small cushion underneath your feet. <laughs> if you are on a cushion, crisscross, half lotus, full lotus. Notice what posture is available for you for the next half an hour. What feels okay? Spine is loosely erect. Shoulders are gently rolled back. Chin is towards the chest. Right hand over the left or hands are interlaced. Right thumb over the left or tips of the thumbs to be gently meeting each other. Just settling into the posture. The posture really supports the flow of energy. So just sensing into the body. Taking time with the posture. And noticing what's your motivation for being here today? What brings you to the practice? The group practice helps us deepen and sustain our practices. The group energy sort of lifts up our own energy when some days we're not able to practice. And sometimes it's a shared experience of a shared suffering. Common human experience of suffering. Sensing the breath. Noticing if the breath is shallow or deep. 
not trying to change any experience for ourselves. And just being with the breath as it arises and passes away. Sensing the sit bones of contact the leg is, legs are making to the cushion you are on. Noticing if the cushion or the chair feels hard, soft, rough, smooth, maybe neutral. So just sitting, just sensing the sit bones or the legs on the cushion or the chair. And with each out breath, dropping yourself further and further into your sit bones. Sensing the cushion or the chair, allowing gravity to do its job, knowing that you helped and supported. Now on the breath, bringing in compassion for yourself, for all those parts of you that are feeling sad, lonely, lost. Or any other emotion 
that feels heavy, bringing in a lot of compassion for those parts of you on the inward. We all have parts that are lonely, sad, sometimes a little lost, angry, parts that carry hatred or disgust. So just bringing in compassion for yourself on the in-breath for all these parts that are feeling heavy, that need support. Just holding these parts with a lot of compassion on the in-breath. And on the out-breath, sending out compassion towards others. Just like other, us, there are other people who suffer with these heavy emotions. So just sending out compassion to all these people, to everyone. Just meeting all our parts that are holding on to the intensity of emotions with a lot of compassion. Parts of us that are angry. Their boundaries are ruptured. Someone has spoken to us badly or crossed our boundaries. It could be hurt and sad. There could be anxiety that a part of us could be feeling. Due to the environmental conditions, political situations may bring up anxiety. A sense of disgust. Hatred. Jealousies. These parts of us are suffering. And just being with these parts with a lot of compassion. A compassion that a wise elder, a mentor, parent figure, or a pet has for us.
can also generate this compassion for our own selves, for these parts. Maybe placing a non-dominant hand over the chest, supporting the physiology as we breathe in compassion for ourselves, for all these parts of our one part. An acknowledgement of our own suffering. Just sitting with parts of ourselves that are feeling this way. Sensing the breath in our body. And if you notice that the body is feeling tight, just guiding our breath to that part of the body that feels contracted. Just breathing in compassion into our own body. Just an acknowledgement of my own suffering. Just 
And notice as you meet these paths with a lot of compassion, what really happens? Perhaps these paths begin to settle down. The intensity of the emotions also is a little less. So just noticing any shifts in the body-mind as you meet yourself with compassion. And if there is a sense of overwhelm in the physiology, just placing one hand on the chest, one palm on the chest and one on the abdomen, the lower abdomen. Just supporting your physiology, the body. Putting one hand, one palm on the chest and one on the lower abdomen. Sensing the warmth of the hands on the body. And 
just staying there. And whenever you feel done, you can gently remove your hands. Just bringing again your attention to your awareness. How is it for you to meet these parts with a lot of compassion? And as we bring this practice to a close, sharing the merits of this practice. Maybe sharing compassion that we have generated today with a group of people, someone, one single person, everyone. Notice what's there for you today. Thank you all for your practice. Have a wonderful day.